Hi, welcome back. My name is Maddie Wade and this is my YouTube beauty channel. So thank you so much for joining me. If this is your first time here or if you've been here and you have not yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like this content, make sure you leave me some comments. Go ahead and leave me a like, like this video. Let me know that you're here and let me know that you're watching. Um, so I'm going to be showing an eyeshadow tutorial today. So the eyeshadow colors that we're going to use, we're going to kind of go for like a pinky purple look today. So I'm I'm excited to share that with you and show you we're gonna get started with a little bit of concealer right on top of my eyelids just because I want it to kind of brighten things up it's gonna be like my base it's gonna be like my primer so it is going to go all over my eyelids so this is a new step that I've been using I would say probably the last few months to do my eyeshadow and it's made a huge difference and I'm really really liking the results so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just putting this all over my eyes and then you just want to give it a few seconds to dry to afterwards and you can apply this with a brush if you wanted to apply this with a brush I would suggest the cream color brush it's meant for liquid eyeshadows or concealer or under eye corrector things like that all right so now that I've got that nice and even on my eyes I'm gonna give it just a second to kind of dry a little bit and I know it looks really bright right now but that's okay we're gonna put eyeshadow over the top of it and it is going to even out my goodness I have so many flyaways right now it is crazy ignore the flyaways um I actually just learned a hack and I should have done it before I came on here but I'll tell you about it anyway I'll demo it later um but what I learned was if you take so first of all I am kind of regrowing up my hair my hair has always been blonde my whole life I am kind of trying to go back to my regular hair color to make it a little bit healthier and in that process I have had a lot of new hair growth so with the new hair growth comes these little flyaways um, but anyway so what I learned was if you take a makeup brush so like a powder makeup brush and you spray it with hairspray you can actually hold these down so like I took the all-over powder brush I have a bunch of them anyway so I took an extra one I sprayed it with hairspray the other day and I tried it I tried to like take on all my little flyaways I was so impressed I think I actually somehow made it worse <laughs> okay we're just gonna ignore that um but anyway what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a little bit of my lip gloss this is copper aurora lip gloss I just really like how it has a little bit of color to it not too much color it's great for an everyday look it's got vitamin E in it too, so it's going to keep your lips nice and hydrated. It looks so pretty too. You can see it's like so shimmery and shiny. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to get started with my eyes. I'm going to use a few different eyeshadow brushes today. I guess I'm not 100% sure which color, which brushes I'm going to use, but these are my go-to eyeshadow brushes. So I've got the all-over eyeshadow brush, I've got the eye smudge brush, I've got the eye blending brush, and I've got the crease brush. It's the eye crease brush. So these are the four eyeshadow brushes brushes that I always have with me and then you may or may not use the crease brush and the eye smudge brush just depending on the eyeshadow combination I always 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 use these two so the eye um, all over eyeshadow brush and the blending brush all right we're gonna get started today with a base color first so let me show you my palette here's my palette I've got all my colors in here I have a couple of other palettes too so these aren't all my colors but I've got a lot of colors in here um so I'm gonna pick up first I'm gonna pick up blossom which is right up here it's kind of that it looks white in the container it is actually a very very pale pink color and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid this is gonna set that concealer and it's gonna be like my base so I'm just putting that all over my lid with the fluffy blending brush so it's nice and easy to apply it to. All right, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crease brush and we're going to pick up a little bit of Merlot. I love Merlot. It's beautiful. It's a really pretty kind of, it really truly does look like Merlot wine, but it's a really pretty dark purple and it just is so beautiful it really will like make every look a little bit darker too just kind of deepen your look a little bit so we're going to start by adding just a little bit on the outside here okay now i'm going to take my all over 
blending brush I'm gonna pick up a little bit of let's see I'm gonna do sunlit rose which is right here you can see it's a shimmer it's like a pinky shimmer so I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that and I'm going to blend that out with the Merlot so that's gonna tone the Merlot down a little bit it's gonna make it look a little bit lighter still gonna keep that pigment though so I just kind of want to blend these out just a little bit. I also wanted to add that pink in there just so that when I'm going across my entire crease line, it's got that little hint of pink to it. I'm going to do the same thing over on this side. So I just kind of add it right on top and then blend it out. Again, the pink we want to bring all the way across. And then I'm just blending it right on top of that Merlot too. I love pinks and purples, especially for the springtime. I just think they're so beautiful. They're so easy to use as well. Um, and they're also good for almost every single eye color. So depending on how you feel about it, it can look good on every single eye color. Now preference, you might have a different personal preference on which colors you like on yourself. But I do love the pinks and the purples on every single different eye color. They're so pretty. And like I said, they're easy to use too. So especially if you're kind of, you know, it's spring right now or we're getting into spring <laughs> and right now I'm kind of itching for it to be warm weather again and I'm excited for it to be warm weather again. So I know for me personally, I'm so excited about the warm weather. I want to kind of make my makeup a little bit brighter, a little bit more happy. So my eyeshadow is kind of a fun way to be able to do that. So I'm just blending again that I just added a little bit more of that sunlit rose right on top I love the shimmer too shimmers make it so easy to blend out any eyeshadow color that you're wanting to blend out okay now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my all over eyeshadow brush I'm gonna pick up crystalline which is right here it's that bright shimmery white color we're gonna pop that right in the inner corner this makes a huge difference. I do this on every single one of my eyeshadow looks ever. I always put a little bit of either crystalline or moonstone right in that inner corner just to brighten it up. You can also take a little bit right on your brow bone, right underneath your brow bone, just to kind of brighten that area. It's also going to separate your eyeshadow from your eyebrows. So there we go. We've got a good base going on. All we're going to do next is we're just going to add a little bit of a bright shimmer. Um, I'm going to use rose gold. So it's not super bright, but it will be a nice like shimmery color to add right to my lid. So I'm going to take rose gold, which is right here and pop that right on the lid. This is going to kind of bring it all together and just add that little bit of that foily shimmer right in the center of your eye okay same thing the other side so the colors that we use today we use blossom as the base then we use the sunlit rose and the merlot on the outside we used crystalline on the inside if you want those if you want to see exactly what colors those are check the description i will add it to my description of this video so that you can i had a hair on my face sorry so that you can um shop them on my website which is also down below it'll be part of the description if you want to go check out my website make sure you sign up for my email list too so i do some emails regularly i'm gonna add a little bit of merlot while i'm telling you this um but i do emails regularly to my customers and i kind of let you guys know when fun things are happening and when i have promotions or when i've done videos or when i'm offering makeup classes all kinds of fun things so make sure you sign up for my email list um, to know about those things new product launches is another one i offer beauty boxes every now and then so there's lots of things that you'll get from my email list but make sure you sign up for that down below i'm just adding that tiny bit of merlot and just blending it out right away. Oh, don't stab yourself in the eye. I usually always look up. So a tip for you, if you're going to do something underneath your eye, take a palette that has a mirror. So this one's the perfect palette and I hold it up and I will look up straight up. And that's where you can kind of have a little bit of an easier way to apply this underneath your eye. So I'm going to do the same thing over on this side. You can just kind of um blend that right out. I love how blendable these eyeshadow colors are too. That is part of my um, favorite thing about all of these eyeshadow. The eyeshadow colors, the blush colors, the Chroma Fusion line, which launched a few years ago. I want to say maybe four or five years ago now. 
um, whenever that launched, it really made a huge difference. I can't believe how wonderful the formulas are. So again, that's like contour, blushes, highlight. They're just so blendable. So they make them so easy for beginners to use or people who are just not super comfortable using makeup regularly, which I know when I started using makeup, I was not comfortable. <laughs> I was not at all comfortable. Um, I did not know what I was doing. It took me a while to learn and I watched a lot of videos and still I am learning every day new things. So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel here, you're going to kind of hear the different tips and tricks that I have for you that I've learned throughout the years that I've learned while I've been doing bridal makeup and that I've learned from other makeup artists. Right now I am using Lash Fanaroma Mascara. I love this mascara just because it does volumize and also also lengthens at the same time. All right, that's just one coat. So one coat is super natural. You can always add a second coat. We'll go back in in just a second with the second one. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and use that first coat. If you want to check out down below too in the description if you're watching this as I posted it, and it's not necessarily a replay. I do have in the month of March, I have a beauty box that I am offering right now. So you can check that out down below. It will be part of the description. All right. I'm going to grab these bottom lashes here in just a second too. So one thing with your mascara is be really patient with your mascara. You're not in a rush. And that's one thing that I learned a long time ago is to be very patient, kind of do my mascara a little bit slower. When you speed up, that's when you accidentally touch the top of your eye or you accidentally get your mascara places that you don't want it to be. So just be a little bit slower. And also you taking about 60 seconds in between coats will help thicken your eyelashes rather than it all just still being kind of the same coat because if you go back in 15 seconds after and your lashes are still freshly wet it's a little bit harder to kind of stack your eyeshadows on top of or your um mascaras on top of each other but if you wait about 60 seconds it does help so that you kind of are adding that second coat instead of it just expanding on the first one i'm gonna grab these bottom ones now I'm just kind of shimmying back and forth just to make sure that I pick up those bottom lashes, get a little bit of mascara on them. And before I came on here today, I did have on my foundation, which I actually just created a video on how I've been doing my foundation lately. I've been loving it. So you can go check that out. I will be posting that soon. Um, but I have been loving the, my new foundation. So I've been using the TimeWise foundation in either luminous or matte, and I've been mixing it with a moisturizer. And it just creates this really pretty, no foundation look, but it still is giving you great coverage. It's very hydrated, so it's very dewy. It does not look cakey at all. I have been really loving it. So make sure you check that video out too when I post it. All right, let's do one more coat. Usually two coats of this Lash Fan Aroma will do the trick and you don't need any more. So tell me what you think down below. Do you like this look? Are you a pink and purple gal? Do you like different colors typically? I know I just did a tutorial. It was actually a Facebook Live, but I did post it here on YouTube in case you guys wanted to watch it as well. But I just did one with emeralds and it was so pretty. I used actually two different looks. So I did one eyeshadow combination with kind of a little bit more of a darker look. So kind of like a nighttime look where I incorporated the emerald up in the top, just like I did this pink and purple today. And then I did the other side is a very neutral on top, kind of browns, gold, super neutral and natural on top. And I put the emerald underneath. So if you're looking for a St. Patrick's Day look, make sure you check that video out too. But make sure you hit that subscribe button and thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Make sure you let me know down below where are you watching from and what do you do you think about this eyeshadow tutorial today? I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you back here next time. Bye!